Hello and welcome back to this lovely Wednesday lunchtime session at the Big Doug Studios. So without further ado, come and join me down on the mat and we're going to start on our bums today. So you can either sit in a nice cross-legged stance or if that is a little bit too much for you, then just take the legs a little bit wider. Just relax here. Just try and draw up through the torso, nice straight spine, so whichever feels better for you. Whenever you're in position, place the hands either palms up or palms down and just close the eyes here. So just concentrating on the breath as you breathe in and breathe out. Just relaxing through the body as you let go of any stresses from this morning. Shoulders start to drop away from the ears. Breathing in and breathing out. And staying with the eyes closed, if it feels good, just circle the nose clockwise. Just starting to release that tension from the neck. Small or as large a circle as you like and take it anti-clockwise for me. Just slow and controlled. Keeping those shoulders down. And bringing the head back to still if it's moving. Stay with the eyes closed. For two more breaths here then. And this time as you exhale, open up the eyes for me. And just place the hands by the side, wherever you are, legs out or legs crossed. We're gonna press down through that right palm as you stretch over with that left arm. So keeping that left leg down for me, so you can bend that right elbow to allow you to do that. So gaze is forward. And change sides then. So press down through that left palm, reach over with the right. Just feeling a stretch through the side. One more to each side then. Right hand comes down, left one stretches over. It doesn't matter how far or how high you stretch. And last time then. And when you're ready, bring the hands down in front and just roll forward just to create a bend in that lower back. Just letting go of any tension. Just concentrating on the breath. as you breathe in and breathe out. And then when you're ready, slowly bring yourself back up to seated and take the arms out to the sides for me. So palms facing forward. So into Pilates arm circles. So just small circles forward. Two more this way then. And take the circles back for me. And bring it back into still. Bend those elbows for me. So we've got a nice sort of HY shape. And you're gonna bring the lower arms and palms together and take them back apart. So bringing them in as far as you feel comfortable with and take them back apart. So bringing them in, squeezing through the chest, taking them apart. So three more then, that's three. Two. And on the last one, you're gonna bring those arms together, hold them together, press the palms, and just try and lift those arms up slightly and drop them back down. So you're gonna lift up and lower. Three more then. 
lift up and lower, last two and lower, last one and lower. Just take the arms apart, just give them a little bit of a shake and come round into that tabletop position that you should be used to by now. So today we're going to take the knees then to the outside edge of the mat, big toes come together and just push the bum back just to take the weight back, bring the arms down, bring the forehead down. Now if that feels uncomfortable, if you just stack the arms one on top of the other and just rest the head on the back of the hands, or you can make two fists and just rest here. Or if you've got a yoga block, you can always add that in if you want to. So just pushing the weight back. Relaxing through the shoulders. And staying in child's pose, just bring the palms together on the mat for me. So little fingers should touch the mat, palms are together. And as you inhale, lift the hands above your head to try and bring the thumbs to the back of the neck. Now don't worry if you don't get them all the way back. Elbows remain on the mat for me. As you exhale, drop those hands back down. Little fingers come to touch the mat. Inhale, lift them back up again. Thumbs come to touch the back of the neck. So we've got a little shark fin going on. And release them back down for me. Turn the palms back down. So palms and forearms are once more on the mat. And then when you're ready, let's inhale back into tabletop. So squaring those knees back off for me. So taking that right leg out, tucking the right toes and just giving a little bit of a press to that right heel. So gaze is forward and down for me. Hips stay nice and square. And then just draw that right knee back in. Extend the left one out. Tuck the toes, press the heel. Just giving a little stretch into those calf muscles. And then just draw it back in for me one more time. So we're going to take the knees back to those, that hip width apart and sit it back once more into that child's pose for me. So stretching those arms across the mat if you can. Forearms flow off the floor, as does the head. As you inhale, come up into child's pose, uh, into tabletop, sorry. And then you're gonna take the weight slightly forward, leading with the chin, so keep those elbows in. Drop the chest to the floor, slide in the legs out and just press through the palms. So we're coming up into a sort of baby cobra, maybe hybrid version there. As you inhale, push the weight back and come back into child's pose. So inhaling once more then, back into that tabletop, arms are slightly forward. Take the weight forward for me, bend those elbows, keep them wrapped in, lead with the chin, drop the chest, followed by the thighs, and just press it up as far as you feel comfortable with. So try not to hold your breath here. Inhale, sit the weight back. One more of these then for me. Inhale up. Remembering weight shifts slightly, belly stays pulled in. Lead with the chin, followed by the chest, dropping those thighs down. Just gonna come a tiny way up before taking the head back to the floor for me and coming to the side of the face, extend the arms out in front of you and just bring those feet closer together. So you can either rest on the side of the face or you can place the forehead or nose onto the floor. And then this time we're gonna come into Pilates Swimmer. So as you inhale, lift the arms and legs off the floor and you're just gonna swim. Now if you find arms and legs is too much for you, you can always drop one down, just do the legs, just do the arms, or you can do both. Gaze then is down towards the mat, 
Pulling in through the belly for four more. Three, two, one, and just relax it down. Just make sure those forearms are on the floor. Legs are relaxed. One more then, inhale up, arms and legs or your chosen body part and swim here. For five, four, three, two, one and just relax it back down. So from here then we're just going to pull the elbows back to bring ourselves into sphinx pose here then. So palms and forearms are on the floor, we're about shoulder width apart, legs remain relaxed and you might feel a little bit of a tightness in that lower back as we create a back bend here. Gaze is forward and down, breathing in and breathing out. So from here then, I want you to draw the right sole of the foot towards that lower leg. Now if you do find that you can't get it towards the lower leg, just get it as close as you possibly can. So making sure then those hips face down. And then from here, you're gonna draw that knee up a little bit higher no higher than the hip and take that foot to the outside edge of the knee. Now making sure those hips stay nice and square, you can bring yourself back down onto the floor to rest the head on the back of the hands. Or if you're feeling a little bit more flexible, you can stay on the forearms. It's totally up to you. So make sure then the knee doesn't go any higher than the hip and the foot's on the outside edge of that knee. When you're in one-legged frog, try not to lean over to that opposite side. We're needing to keep our hips facing down. Staying with the breath then. Opening up here through the hip, the inner thigh. And when you're ready, slide that right leg back. If you are on the back of the hands, come back up onto the forearms for me. Just make sure you're nice and square on that mat before bringing that left sole of the foot into that lower leg. So you're not going to press it in, you're just going to rest it there or as close as you can get today. And then as you inhale, let's draw that left knee up a little bit higher, no higher than the hip. Take the foot to the outside edge of that knee, staying on the forearms. Or if you need a little bit of a relax, just bring the head down to the back of the hands. So hips stay square. Just relax it into it. breaths then. And slide in that left leg back for me. Just coming back up onto the forearms one last time. So remembering gaze is forward and slightly down. Fingers are open. from here all I want you to do using the hands to bring yourself back up push the way to the bum back and come back into child's pose so we can reverse that back bend that we've just done so you can drop those forearms onto the floor palms come into the mat and if you find that the knees being together is too uncomfortable for you take them to the outside edge of the mat and just sink it down here just bring your attention back into the breath
and when you're ready, bring yourself back up into that tabletop position then. So squaring off those knees, fingers are open, palms pressed down, and from here, extend that right arm and left leg out. Now, if taking both out is too much for you, drop one of them down and just either extend the arm out or extend the leg out. What you're concentrating here on is keeping the hips nice and square to the mat. So if you take both out and you're tipping over, drop either the hand or the leg down until you feel a little bit stronger through the core. Press down through the hands that are on the floor. And then just drop that hand and knee back into the mat. Let's switch sides then. So again, left hand and right leg, or just the right leg, or just the right hand. Your choice. Try not to hold your breath in this one. Keeping the belly pulled in nice and tight. And drop the hand and knee back down, or whichever bit's in the air. Swap sides one more time then. So right hand, left leg. Drop them back down. And last time then, left hand, right leg. And bringing them back into the floor for me. Just tuck the toes, lift those hips up and come into downward facing dog. So taking the feet about hip width apart, fingers are open, palms press into the mat, just over shoulder width or shoulder width apart, just whichever feels comfortable for you. Remembering if you need to, you can bend the knees. Hips are high. Two more breaths here then. And then from here, you're gonna jump, step, or walk it through into that forward fold. So once you're in forward fold, big toes can stay together unless you need them a little bit further apart. Bend the knees, push the bum back, and bring the arms forward. So we're coming into chair pose. So making sure then those thighs are nice and parallel to the mat. Grounding down through the feet, staying light on the toes. Exhale to forward fold. As you forward fold, bring the hands together behind you. Link those fingers and lift those arms up as high as you feel comfortable with. So just giving a stretch through the chest and the back. Any shoulder issues, you don't need to lift them up. Take a breath in and as you exhale, bend the knees once more as the arms come down behind you and then come forward into chair pose. So chest is lifted, try not to hunch through the back. So stay nice and lifted through the chest. Exhale to fold, slowly in control, press through the feet. Bring the hands together behind, lift the arms up to wherever you feel comfortable. One more then, slowly bend the knees, push the bum back, drop the hands. Bring them forward. Two more breaths here. And exhale to forward fold. So you're just gonna bring the fingers down to the floor or if they don't quite go, just rest them against the shins, wherever you feel comfortable with. And then from here, inhale to halfway then. So hands can come to the shins if they're not already there. You can just reach down to the fingertips to the floor. We're gonna push that tailbone up towards the ceiling. Back is as flat as you can get it. And then as you exhale, just soften off those knees. Just let that upper body hang. So inhale halfway, hamstring stretch here. Again, if you need to keep those knees soft through this one, you can. And again, if you need to, rest the hands on the shins. And just release it off, just bend those knees. Just let that body hang. We've got one more then. Inhale, halfway. Press that tailbone up. 
and this time bend the knees a lot to allow you to rest that chest or belly onto the thighs and you're just going to let that upper body hang head is heavy remembering if you need to take those knees uh, feet a little bit further apart you can whichever's comfortable two more breaths then before releasing those hands, bending the knees a lot more to allow you to come back down onto the floor then. So extending those feet out, sitting up nice and tall, chest is lifted, flexing the feet for me. Shoulders away from the ears, pressing down through the fingertips or the palms. Or if neither of those will go, just grab yourself your trusty little blanket and just rest your hands on there. So trying not to press that chest forward or stick the bum out. We're keeping our spine as neutral as we possibly can. Gaze is forward, chin is lifted. And then just relax it off for me. Just bring the soles of the feet onto the floor. So if you need to shift up that mat a little bit, you can. So we've got our feet about hip width apart and extend the arms forward and then you're just slowly you know, roll it back onto the mat. So pulling that belly in as you go. If you need to drop the arm to give you a little bit of support, go ahead until you come all the way down onto the back and just let those shoulders become heavy. You're gonna take the feet to the outside edge of the mat for me and then just let those knees fall in hands can stay by the sides, palms facing up, or if you feel more comfortable, rest them on the thighs, you can rest them on the belly, wherever you want to. Just taking the time to concentrate on the breath. And just let go of any tension. Breathing in and breathing out. Three more breaths here then. Just take those knees back apart again. Walk the feet closer together until the inside edges of the feet touch, and then just draw those knees into the chest, or as close as they'll go. Hug them in nice and tight. Give a rock side to side if that feels good. Bring it back into center for me. And holding on to the front of the shins, just give a rock to bring yourself back up to seated. When you're here, extend those legs out for me. Sitting up nice and tall one more time. Bring that left sole of the foot to the outside edge of that right leg. Right foot stays flexed. Left hand comes down underneath the left shoulder and you can stay exactly here or you can bring that right hand across to the outside edge of that lower left leg. We can bring the whole of the right arm across to the top of that uh, left leg and take a gaze over the left shoulder different variations of this twist you just do the one that you feel comfortable with and then release it back around to the front uncross extend that leg back out now if you find at any time that when your legs are extended it's a little bit uncomfortable and you need to bend them slightly just slip a little blanket underneath it gives you that little bit of extra support this time then let's take that right leg across so right hand stays on the floor pressing down and again you can rest it on that blanket if you want you can bring the left hand across to just ease that right uh, leg back or you can take the left arm to the outside edge of that right leg and take a gaze over that right shoulder. So just creating a twist here. And bringing it back into 
centre, so uncross. But let's place both soles of the feet back onto the floor again, about hip width apart. Unless you feel a little bit more flexible, you can take them to the outside edge of the mat. Hands come down behind the shoulders, whichever way you want the fingers to point, just to give you that little bit of stability. And drop both knees over to that left side. From here, take the right hand and walk yourself around towards the back of the mat. Now don't worry if you only get a quarter of the way around, that's absolutely fine. From here, you can stay on the palms or if you're feeling that little bit more flexible, bring the forearms down, rest the head on the back of the hands. Just to feel a stretch and a twist through that torso. Trying to relax here through the shoulders. And then when you're ready, slowly bring yourself back up to seated. Come back around to the front for me. Pointing those knees up one more time. Hands come back underneath the shoulders. Drop the knees over to the right. Left arm comes around to walk wherever you can get to. And then stay on the palms or bring the forearms down. Rest the head down. And slowly bring yourself back up to seated. Walk yourself back around to the front for me. And we're going to swing ourselves around, or I'm going to swing myself around to face you. And you can cross the ankles once more, or you can leave those legs out, whichever feels comfortable to you. And you're going to once more rest those palms, palm up or palm down on the knees. And just close the eyes here for me and concentrate on the breath. So as we're halfway through the day, I thought we'd do a nice seated relaxation, just to prepare you to return to the rest of the day. So breathing in and breathing out. Just concentrating on the breath. Just letting the shoulders relax. And during these few moments of quiet, just set your intention for the rest of the day. It doesn't have to be anything grand. It can be whatever you want. Breathing in and breathing out. If you feel a little tension in the neck, you can just move the head side to side. Or you can draw those circles with the nose once more. Up to you. Stay with the breath. As you breathe in and breathe out. Bring in your attention to the sounds in the room. And bring in your breath back to its normal rhythm.
And then when you're ready, open up the eyes, bring the hands to the heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining us all today here on this lovely Wednesday. And for the rest of you, we'll see you next Tuesday night at six o'clock. Or for you lunchtime yogis, we'll see you next Wednesday at 12.30. Until then, stay safe and stay flexible.